Is this a public road? Bugger this, man. There is not a chance I'm finishing on time. I'm supposed to be done. Right, this is just getting silly now. Look at the state of these roads. No. Not on my watch. Hey, it's good to be back. What's going on, peeps? I've been a very, very busy boy. A busy dad. My daughter is already growing up way too fast. It's kind of scary actually, but all is good. I'm back to work and we're getting back on the YouTube game. And seeing as it's nearly Christmas, I thought I'd help do my bit and uh, help out people getting their last minute Christmas deliveries from Amazon. So we are heading to Exeter and we're going to be trying out a 2 till 5.30 at what seems to be the new base rate for this depot anyway. So the base pay for a three and a half has gone up from £54.50 up to £61.50, which I believe is a £2 an hour raise. I don't know if this is a permanent change, I don't know if it's just for Christmas, but obviously I'm all for any pay increase. So that we'll give it a go. Is this new base rate gonna be worth it? Could it be it's now worth my time to do more of these? without having to wait for boosts. Well, we're gonna find out. We're 10 minutes away from the depot. I'm running, bang on time. Haven't got any time to waste. Gotta say, over the uh, Christmas period, I've seen some insane boosted rates on Amazon Flex. There was a three hour block for 105 pounds. It wasn't even raining. I don't know what was going on. Clearly nobody wanted to work that day. And unfortunately I wasn't able to take it myself, but I'm sure someone very lucky got their hands on that. Nice little payday there. But yeah, I'm feeling good. It's Christmas. Well, nearly Christmas. I think it's the 19th today. So yeah, no doubt this block is gonna be full of last minute Christmas presents. As always, we'll track all of our expenses for the block and we'll see how this new base rate fares. Seven minutes to go, let's get to the depot. Let's get loaded up and get cracking on with our deliveries. nuts. I've got a bag full of envelopes and book folders and some of the biggest boxes. Loads of bags down there. Small boxes everywhere just in that corner. I don't think this is going to be an easy one folks. I also saw farms on some of those boxes. Here we go. And there goes a load of parcels in the back. 48 packages. I think 30 or 31 stops. I think we're down Newton Abbott Way, but it looks a little bit more rural. I don't think we're going, I think we're going town centre today. Yeah, first impressions of this route, certainly not the easiest one I've ever had. But look, some routes can be deceiving. We'll just have to see, won't we? 21 minutes and 21 miles from our first drop. I mean, I have my suspicions about why they raised the base rate. I think it's because the routes from Exeter can just vary so much. There's so much countryside, so many small villages and towns. The routes can be very, very tricky sometimes. And it did always amaze me that Taunton Morrisons paid more than logistics at Exeter. I'd like to think they've taken driver feedback on board, realized that 15.50 an hour just wasn't enough for the kind of routes you get around here. Sorry, that's my other GoPro just switching off. By the way, I now have two GoPros. I got sick of having to switch the camera from my hat onto my chest at every drop. You gotta unscrew the thing and tighten it and angle it right. So now I can just set both cameras up correctly, one on the hat, one on my chest, and we're good to go. Uh, do I wanna, do I need to be in this lane? I don't think so. Time is of the essence. Come on, Mr. Tesla. Put your foot down, son. Just over a mile from drop number one. And apparently it is literally just left off of this A road. And what I'll try and do whilst I'm there is find my next few packages and stick them in the footwell. So our first two drops here look pretty close together. This kind of road is not a good sign of things to come. This is uh, drop number one. 
Just got my chesty cam on, first drop. Yet again, I'm not really prepared, but uh, luckily that drop was one of the big ones. And we're going just around the corner to uh, our second drop night. Oh God. I'm guessing it's this gaff here. Didn't even need to get out of the car. Came out to meet me. Couple of envelopes. So at least my uh, big bag of book folders and envelopes is slightly lighter now. And we're headed just around the corner to our third drop. I will manage to film a drop at some point, but uh, obviously I'm not gonna keep the hat with the camera on when the customer comes to my car window. Ah, lovely roads. Far from the worst I've been taken down with Amazon Flex though, I tell you that. Hey sheep. All right, just up here on our left. And get that. Yeah. Why not? Oh, yeah. All right. Cheers, buddy. Thank you. Cheers, mate. Ta. Now what I'm going to do whilst I'm here is just find these next few parcels so I don't have to be rooting around for them before I head to my next stop. All right, that's the next three or four drops worth down there. I'll do for now. So next delivery is to a caravan park. I hope the route that I've got on Amazon takes me smack bang to the caravan I need to be at. I think we're in here. Oh man. Do I need a buzz to get through or something? Oh, am I gonna have to go and ask them to open the barrier? Never easy, is it? Never bloody easy. I think reception's just there. It's like a building site in there. Is it quicker for me to just walk it? Oh, man. I think it is. Oh, well, it looks like we're getting some exercise, isn't it? It'd be nice if the customer left some notes about what I'm supposed to do, but it's only be a two, three minute walk, so I'm just gonna have to suck it up. It's probably still quicker than calling support, so might as well just do it. Oh, man. Oh, it's all uphill. And I'm knackered already. At least I'm earning my McDonald's tonight. Oh my God, I need to take a break. And those are the houses I just delivered to. And it says it's down here. What a ridiculous delivery. It must be this one. Done. Maybe I should have just found the customer. Maybe they can remotely open the barrier. Oh well, too late now. That's definitely delayed us a bit on this route. Somehow don't think this one's going to be an early finisher. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like a view. But not enough to do this. And then reception's just locked up. And it looks like they're doing it up. Just tins of paint everywhere and no one in there. Lights off. Yet people are ordering Amazon parcels here. Just need to crack on now and hope that the rest of the route isn't this difficult. Thanks, Mr. Barrier. Appreciate it, bro. <laughs> Cottages and caravans. Hopefully there's not a great big barrier that's gonna delay me by 10 minutes. Oh yeah, all right. Yeah, right. That one. Cheers, Cheers mate. Thanks, mate. And the next one here. Might go through the letterbox. <whistles> no chance. Thank Thanks you. a lot. Take care. Success. Of course now though, it starts to rain, which is just what you want, especially when you're out on routes like this. It's like Amazon knew I was gonna film a video today. They said, here you go. We got a fun one for you, mate. Can we just, can we just have some houses now? I don't care if it's in the countryside. I really was hoping for something a little bit more, uh, like, oh my God, first gear it is. Something a little bit more uh, suburban, if I'm honest. But hey, I guess I should know better doing routes in Devon. Yeah, nice one, Packers. Cheers for covering up the barcode for me. Green parcel box. Just wondering if I was in the right place. Yeah, no All good. Thanks, cheers, mate. Can't come in here. No, 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 no. Can't come in here. Yes, you're lovely. You're lovely, my friend, but I gotta go. See you later. Please tell me I've gone the right way. Yes. Well, I mean, it looks like this is our route. Just this kind of terrain. 
single track roads, potholes, puddles, mud. I mean, don't get me wrong, it has advantages over town routes. Obviously traffic is a big one, but honestly, I'd, I'd take rush hour traffic over routes like this, especially in bad weather. I mean, look at the state of these roads, man. Like, you just can't build up any speed whatsoever because a pothole can just jump out at you last minute and you do not want to be stuck, broken down somewhere like this. So we are I'm an hour and a half into this block and I think I've done like what seven stops out of my 30 31 Merry Christmas to me sorry mate got your parcels got the deliveries the Amazon deliveries do you want me to move now or yeah what a fast looking in looking them in how all right bad. how you doing you're right yeah not bad one, two, and three. Happy day. That's a lot. Thank oh, you yeah. very much. Thanks, Cheers, mate. Bye. Oh my God, what a faff that was. Blocking someone in, had to find three parcels. Honestly, I'm already sort of uh, looking forward to this route being over. I think this is where I want to be. Well, that's it. Oh. Not a chance. It says to leave with neighbor if not. Got a delivery here anyway. Couldn't fit it in the mailbox. So you're right to take it. Let's take your first name. Right, that's that one. And then I think I've got one for you anyway. Oh, amazing. Lovely, all done. Thank so Thanks a lot, take care. Am I gonna get anything simple today? Anything. Six minutes away from this next drop. Yeah, two and a half miles now from the next drop. And I've just checked my itinerary. And that was drop 10. Well, technically drop number nine because they count the depot as your first stop but stop number 10 out of 32 it's a bloody nightmare route an absolute nightmare route i really hope it speeds up and the terrain gets a bit easier and i mean nice one amazon if you were hoping that i was going to leave this thinking yeah you know what that new uh that pay rise they've put on the extra blocks it's really worth it honestly so far if the rest of the route's like this it would have needed to have been 90 pounds for it to be worth it. Are these routes really suitable for small cars? Oh, for sake, man. Come on, mate, up you come. It's not his fault, but you know, it's routes like this and situations like this that just grind my gears and pretty soon it's gonna be dark. You know, it's 20 to four now, half an hour it's gonna be pretty much pitch black. And I've got 20 more stops to go. Although it does look like we're heading back onto a main road now. So there is hope. There is hope that this route might get easier, but I know for a fact I've got at least one farm, which would indicate that chances are we're going off-road again very, very soon. I did feel like my run of good luck was gonna have to end at some point. Bloody hell is it taking me up here? Down there. This right? Man, I am so confused. There's not a chance we're finishing this block early, is there? Oh, fantastic. These are just not the kind of roads that I feel very safe on. I find myself getting anxious about breaking down or having an accident or hitting a pothole. Yeah, this is exactly where Amazon navigation also wants to take me, so it's not Google Maps messing up. Oh, man, we're not going through that. Do we risk it? See how deep it is? No. Not on my watch. For sake, man. I've got nowhere to turn around. Where am I gonna turn around? I might have been able to get through that, but there is not a chance I'm risking it. Can I turn around here? At least I can turn around. Is there another way I can get to that road? I really don't wanna to have to go back to the, to the depot. I think I can see another way on Google Maps to get there. I mean, it's just routes like this that really put me off doing this job. And yeah, part of me thinks, oh, should I have just tried to get through that water? It didn't look that deep, but at the same time, I'm only in Little Nissan Micro. I'm not going to risk it. I'm just not going to. I think we can go over basically down the other side. Sometimes I just wish that the navigation wouldn't just always prioritize shortest distance or travel time. Give me roads that I can actually get down as a priority, please. Oh man, do you know what? I'm just, I'm so annoyed, man. What an absolute piss take of a route. We're nearly there now, but look at, just look at this road, man. Apparently it's here somewhere. Right, 
Right then, the fun continues. Next up, we're delivering to a pub, so at least I can bet on this one being straightforward to get to. God, it's my easiest delivery yet. Oh, I think. Can we just chuck these down there? Yeah, that's good. Right. Cheers, mate. Right, are we gonna stay in civilization now? We've now got an 11 minute drive to the next drop. Fantastic. Just gets better and better. Oh, here we go. Road ahead closed, 15th to the 18th. Well, it's the 19th, so I hope to God it's open. <laughs> I don't like the look of where this is taking me. Jeff Bezos, have mercy on me, please. What is this route? Where am I? It's starting to get dark now. I'll be honest, I'm starting to get a little bit angsty. This route's not getting easier, is it? What the hell? Is this a public road? Oh, bugger this, man. I'm gonna go the way the, the Amazon app said. Back onto the A road. Isn't this exactly where I came earlier on? Looks like it. I'm sure this is where I started my route and I'm back here again. Yeah, it is. I've just done a circle. <laughs> what the hell? What is this route, man? The difference is now we're going left instead of right at the end of this road. There is not a chance I'm finishing on time. I'm supposed to be done in the next hour and 10 minutes. Drop 14 of 32. What an absolute joke. Look at this. Just hazards in the middle of the road. Absolutely brilliant. Here's our farm delivery. Two minutes to the next drop. Still got all of these to go. And we've got one hour left. So we're about halfway through the deliveries now. I'm in the absolute arse end of nowhere. I've got less than an hour to go before my block is supposed to be finished. And the difficulty of this route shows absolutely no signs of improving. And just look at these roads, man. Like this is not where you should be sending a Nissan Micra to deliver parcels to. Right, this is just getting silly now. Look at the state of these roads. My car is taking an absolute beating. It is so bumpy. I don't know what the hell this place is, but at least there's a hatchback. So I know that other hatchbacks have driven up here and not fallen to pieces. Honestly, where am I? the right place <laughs> oh man right here we go I'm pretty much in the dark night and we're on stop 18 of 32 oh, I'm just gonna walk up and sub that you probably can't see a thing right now it's times like this I just want to pack this job in it really is it's not worth it 60 quid I'm getting for this Right, my lovelies. Just got a few drops done in the meantime. And it is now 5.28. So two minutes from the end of my block and I have got seven more stops to go. And just as more of a kick in the teeth, I'm still being taken down roads like this. Pitch black, potholes everywhere, puddles everywhere. I've been working for three and a half hours. Oh my God. I'm going to need at least another half an hour to finish this block 
and all for the grand grand sum of £61.50 before expenses. I'd love to know how they worked this route out, how they thought this was suitable for a three and a half. This should have been a four hour block easily. And look, I'm feeling a bit better now that I'm, I'm almost nearly done. You know, seven drops, that's better than having 32 left. But just the, the cheek of it, man, the Amazon sending us on routes like this. I'm calling it now. I've probably made £10 an hour on this block after expenses because of the extra time it's taken. And look, I know I've had some good luck lately. I've done some, uh, some extra blocks in the last few weeks and they've all been... Well, they've all been absolutely fine compared to this one so maybe I have just gotten completely unlucky with this one but you know all these bloody off-road routes they're just they're just too much and you never know what you're gonna get it's like gambling honestly Amazon Flex is like gambling every time you take a block you're just hoping you're hoping for that golden route Oh my god! Yeah, That's alright. Yes. No worries, thanks a lot. At least he came out to me. Yeah, literally, it is it is like a slot machine. You never know how it's going to go. You could have the worst run ever, or you can hit the jackpot. I don't know, I always say to myself, when I get bad routes with Amazon, I'm like, oh, I'm never doing that again. I'm just going to stick to food delivery in my hometown, with normal roads, normal houses, but then the food delivery apps go quiet, you have a bad day where you make barely anything and you think oh there's all these 70 80 pound offers on amazon flex for three hours work i just always get tempted back in i always get pulled back in and it's the same with this i'm probably going to do it again as bad as this route's been i think i'm done with the worst of it there's a few drops left we'll bash them out we'll finish late i'll email amazon try and get my overtime pay and i'll go home and hopefully we have better luck next time. And to think, I started this video thinking, oh yeah, we'll go out and we'll just do a normal route and we'll see uh, how that £61.50 fares after expenses. See if that increase in base pay is worth it. I'm telling you now, if all the routes are like this one, the answer is no. But I will say, I think we've been very, very unlucky with this route. I haven't had one this bad, uh, probably ever. I would go as far to say this is the worst Amazon Flex route. The worst logistics block I have ever done. It's just been awful. No letterbox? Oh, there is a letterbox. Thought I was done with this stop, but there's a password delivery to do. So it comes up separately. I might as well take the other two up there. Yeah, this. <laughs> I think because, so the two big ones, they're fine. It's they came up on one stop. Yeah. So I thought I was done here. I got in the car and then I saw, oh, the next one's here. <laughs> and because it's password, it puts them in separately. Yeah, no, it's fine. So I thought I might as well bring these over whilst, oh, bless you. whilst I'm at it. Nice awesome. one, right, all done. Awesome, awesome. Thanks a lot. What a lovely kind lady. Three stops to go. And we're done, boys. Oh man, do you know what? When you have a bad route like this, it feels so good to get to the end. And as annoyed as I am that it's now quarter to six and I'm still not done, I am just glad I've almost made it out the end of this route in one piece. And I can't wait to see how little money I've made on this block today, because this one is going to be a stinker. I mean, okay, fine, that road being flooded, that wasn't Amazon's fault, but what, that caused a... Whoa six seven minute delay max there's no way that that was the cause of this right got the customer sorted with that one so annoying when their letterboxes are designed for letters from the 1920s anyway I, I'm, I, I'm just beyond caring now two drops left both down this lane and then I get to go home but not before we go through how awful the pay must have been from this route Last drop, guys. Last drop. Oh. Hello there, all right? Yes, it's quite you. heavy. No, it's all right. It. Thank you Thanks a much. lot, take care. We're done. We're done. 
swipe that away. What a nightmare that was. Right, I'm gonna sort the car out, find somewhere to park up and we'll run through the numbers. My God, what a route. What a horrible, horrible, horrible route that was. I hope it is some time before I get anything like that again, because I really want to keep doing Amazon logistics. I, I, in general, I really enjoy it. It's just routes like that really take it out of you, really make you question, what the hell are you doing? Why aren't I just sticking to food delivery? Anyway, we worked for just shy of four hours altogether. We finished at about five to six, so 25 minutes over, 3.9 hours. But adding on half an hour drive back to the depot, we're looking at 4.4. Obviously we're including that trip back to the depot, even though luckily, because I found a way around that flood, we don't have to go back. As you know, on this channel, we will always include that trip back because we're trying to figure out the real pay of this job. The thing is people live in different places and commute from different places to get to the depot, just including a drive back to the depot is the fairest way of doing it. After that last drop, I was on 47.5 miles, but we need to add on 21 miles back to the depot. 68.5 altogether. So fuel cost was £9.72, and that's partly helped by the fact that fuel prices have been cheaper lately. Insurance for 4.4 hours, I mean, we'll just call it £2. Because technically you're not insured, I don't think, whilst you're driving back to the depot. Could be wrong. We'll call it £2. Total expenses, £11.72. Net profit then of £49.78. So over 4.4 hours, that's £11.31 an hour. So it's not quite as bad as I thought, but still, man, that was not worth £11.31 an hour. That route was, that route would need to pay £15, £16 after expenses per hour to be worth it. That was just horrific. Anyway, guys, I am really happy to be back making videos again, despite this route being horrendous. I almost hated every second of it, but what I did enjoy was sharing it with you guys so you can see the breadth of work and the breadth of routes that you get whilst doing Amazon Flex. It's not all easy. It's not all finishing early and doing local routes. Sometimes you really do get taken to the ass end of nowhere. Uh, and if you're going to do this job, you need to be prepared for routes like this. Anyway, thank you, Amazon, for a really bad Christmas route. Appreciate it. Thank you to you all for watching and tuning in again. Really appreciate it. Uh, thanks for sticking with me whilst I took a little break to uh, get used to fatherhood. And heading into the new year now, we're gonna be doing loads of videos. We've got so much cool stuff planned for the year ahead. So I hope to catch you on those videos very, very soon. I'm going home and I'll see you in a bit. Peace.